Similarly, now in this particular question, again we are given some known values. One is 40 and 25, and there are some unknown values x, y, and z, which has to be found out. Now, here looking at these two lines, this is 40 degrees. So, z can be directly found out. We can say the value of z is 40 degrees. These are vertically opposite angles. So, by using the vertically opposite angles property, we get this is 40. So, this is also 40. Now, next we have to find out the value of x and y. Now, y and z are forming linear pair. So, we can say that y plus z is 180 degrees. The reason being that this is a straight line and angles lying on a straight line will give you a total of 180. So, z value is 40, we will substitute here. So, we get y plus 40 is equal to 180 degrees. So, value of y will be 180 minus 40. So, we get the value of y as 140. So, y is 140 here and this is 40. So, total is coming 180 degrees. That is a linear pair here. Now, we have to find out the last one that is x here. So, x can be found out again by using another property that is this is a straight line and the total of angles lying on a straight line is 180 degrees. So, we can say that 40 plus x plus 25 is 180 degrees. So, 40 and 25 is already giving me a total of 65. So, here we can say that 65 plus x is 180. The property here that we are using is that angles lying on a straight line will give us a total of 180 degrees. So, x therefore will be 180 minus of 65 and x therefore will be when we subtract this we are going to get 115 degrees. So, we have found out the three unknown angles. What are the unknown angles that we found out? First was z 40 degrees by using concept of vertically opposite. Then we used the property of linear pair to find y as 140 degrees. And then we found out the value of x by adding the three angles and equating it to be 180 because angles lying on a straight line will give us 180 degrees. So, 40 and 25 was known already. 40 plus 25 is giving us 65, 65 plus x is 180, therefore we found out x by subtracting 65 from 180 and we got the final answer as 115. So, x is 115, y is 140 and z is 40 degrees. So, we get these angles comfortably by using all the properties that we have studied.